everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to build out a few of my LED controller boxes for a new house. I'm currently in a rental place, a temporary rental place. It's a bit of a mess, but um, I cleared off this table and now I will be able to build the boxes. So I got three boxes from a company called Your Pixel Store. And um, each of those boxes can power 16 channels of individually controllable um, LED strips, which will be scattered around our kitchen and office and other places. And so the first box I got assembled, although I partially disassembled it, and what is in here is one uh, eight port controller. I'm gonna put in another eight port controller right here. I'm gonna fasten it all and you know, connect it to the power supply and all that stuff. And so each of those three boxes are going to, is going to have two individual controllers. They're connected via ethernet and they're gonna be running WLED on it, uh, each with eight, eight channels. And so uh, I have two empty boxes here, two empty, uh, so, um, there's nothing in here. Uh, and the same one over there. Um, and I have a whole bunch of parts and bits and pieces organized here. So these are the cable conductors, uh, hardware, uh, and PL conductors, and power supplies. I have two 600 watt power supplies, way overpowered, but you know, why not? And uh, five of those, five more of those controllers. Um, in case I blow something, I have fuses, and there's some extra parts and Ethernet cables. And here I have 10 gauge wire, more machine screws and uh, speed terminals and power cables, of course, right here. Um, and so the tools I'm going to use are over here. I have a drill to drill holes into those, into those um, acrylic plates. I do have a whole bunch of holes, but not the ones that I need, which is not a problem. I'm gonna drill them real quick. And screwdrivers and, you know, all kinds of different things. LT2 screwdriver, yay. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna get started with the build. Uh, I'm not gonna film the build because it's gonna take a while and it's gonna be um, a little bit uh, annoying to do right now. I don't have the equipment, but so I'm gonna uh, um, build it now. And then when I'm done with the build, I'm going to hook it all up, hook it up to some LED strips and then demo how this is going to work, uh, including WLED screenshots and all the kind of stuff. All right, uh, one is done. As you can see, the secondary controller is in there. Uh, plugged it in real quick to see if everything is, is working. The green light means on the uh, left here means that we have power and all these green lines mean that the fuse is not burned for each of the eight um, channels. And so both controllers seem to be working. All the fuses seem to be there. Um, I will hook everything up once I am done building the other two. Take it. boxes are built. So this one is finished and this one here is as well. I haven't turned them on yet, uh, which is what I decided to put on video. So I plugged both of those in. Let's the third one is put off to the side for now because I already know how this works. So let's see if I am, um, let me turn this on, if I'm going to burn down the house. All right, I heard a uh, a little bit of a click in there. All the lights seem to be on. This is a good sign. Let's check out the other one. All right, almost all the lights are on. Looks like one of the fuses is blown. Let me see if I can quickly replace that. But other than that, 
this looks pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook all of this up to Ethernet and to my computer. And then I am going to hook up a couple of light strips and then I'm going to test it all out. Okay, so this is a curiosity. I just uh, swapped out the fuse and that little light is still not on. Maybe the light is broken. So I'm going to test out, this is LED uh, channel number seven. So I'm going to test out this LED number seven here specifically to see if that controller is uh, functional at all, because if not, then I'm going to return it for replacement. But um, before I do that, I will test it. All right, everything is assembled and labeled and set up internally. Uh, so now we have six WLED controllers right here, each with eight channels. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly like turn them on one at a time. So you can see that they're actually working. And of course we can also go into the UI for one of them. Oh, that's a, a bad choice. Hang on, let me just try this one. Change the color. Color is changing to green. By the way, that one controller with the broken port, it's actually not broken, just the LED light for the fuse is broken. All right, um, so what's the plan with all of this? These three boxes are going to live in our crawl space and each one of them is going to power like a different area of the house. And so for example, in the kitchen area, we're going to have um, shelf lighting, toe-click lighting, um, and stuff like that. And in the office area, we have some lighting around the door frames. And in the great room area, we have lighting around the TV. And all of those are going to be controlled by WLED, which ultimately are going to be controlled by Home Assistant. Um, and yeah, today, it was a fun build. Put it all together, and I'm going to um, install those very soon, uh, probably within the next couple of weeks. And then I'm going to post another video when all the lighting is installed. Very excited about this. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.